Tom here from Lawrence Systems, and in this video, we're going to take a quick look at the new Windows PV drivers from Vates for XCPNG. They are currently in beta here in August of 2025, but maybe you're watching this in the future where they're in full release. I'm doing this video to show you how they work, how to install them, and also because this is an open source project, and I want to encourage the tech savvy among you to test them out and report any issues. I want to start here with the developer's blog, the Windows PV Drivers Update and Roadmap, published on July 29th of 2025. Gives you an idea of where they're going, what they've been doing, talks about some of the security updates. I want to jump down here to the end, though, and get to the Microsoft driver signing part. This is where the hangup is, and it will also impact how you do the install on this. The current XCPNG Windows PV 9.0 drivers are test signed. Very important. They are waiting on Microsoft to do the signature. They've submitted the paperwork. They've submitted the things necessary to get it signed. Microsoft's process appears to be very slow in getting that done. Hopefully you're watching some future where this is behind us and we can just load the drivers from them. Uh, but I will show you, of course, how to load it and load a certificate that will allow them to be signed. That is a manual extra step that you'll have to do to get these beta drivers loaded. Now the drivers are available from the XCPNG WinPV drivers GitHub, and we go here to releases. The current release is XCPNG Windows PV Tools 9.0.9108. Let's scroll down here. They do have instructions. These are instructions we'll, we'll be following. And we go down to assets, and I'm downloading it as the ISO because it's simple to copy the ISO over into my XCPNG server and attach it to the systems, but you can do it via the zip download as well. Now I have a Windows 11 that I've already installed this on. We're gonna to go to the console here. We can see the XCPNG ISO that I downloaded is installed here and the Windows XCPNG PV drivers. Now the install process is going to be the same on server 2025, so I wanted to start there, but just to let people know, yes, it works fine with Windows 11. Go over here to our server 2025. It does not have those installed. It does say management agent not detected. I wanna point out here, I'm letting it load the manage Citrix PV drivers via Windows Update. We're going to turn this off, which does require you to reboot it. So let's reboot this system. Now we're going to log in, open up File Explorer, go to this PC. I see the CD drive. So let's go ahead and choose our XCPNG WinPV driver disk. Open up CD, go to Packages. The first thing I want to do is remove the old drivers. If you were to try to run the installer, it will give you a warning that it finds the old drivers there or it'll give you an error that you didn't turn off manage PV drivers via Windows Update. We're gonna go ahead and run this with PowerShell and it's going to remove the old drivers. It's gonna have a confirmation, so say yes. It'll restart the system automatically. We're gonna log back in. Now, before we can install the drivers, we must install the sign certificate. It's under test sign. Right click, run with PowerShell, say yes. It does require a restart for that as well. Now we can go back in and actually install the drivers. Next, accept the EULA, leave all these checked unless you have some special use case where you don't wanna load these. Finish, and this is the final restart. Now we have the latest drivers installed. If we go over here to the general tab, you can see it sees the management agent and we go to stats. It will have the memory usage and other stats here available as well as the network IP address. Also, if you would like to change the network while it's live, this is a bug that was in some of the Citrix drivers. It doesn't have a problem changing the IP address and it does not cause the system to crash or lock up using the VATES drivers. As I said in the beginning, I really hope Microsoft gets Vates signing approved, but until then, we're going to have some extra steps. There's a link to the blog post in the description. Thanks for watching. And if you want to learn more about the open source XCPNG and XO platform and how to get started with it, check out my playlist linked in the description. And thanks.